TitleMatchNetwork.com. Well, as far as Fritz, let's talk about Fritz as a promoter first. What was he like? And Fritz, with me, again, I got treated a lot different than most people did. I didn't start going to a lot of those territories until I was 10. Right. So when I came in, I was treated fabulous by a lot of people. Uh, I never, ever had a problem with Fritz. A matter of fact, when I was running out of people to work with around the St. Louis area as champion, I went through the Valentines, the O'Connors, the Bruisers, the Brodies. I talked Fritz into bringing David up there and on St. Louis television. Okay. okay, we're talking about David Von Ark and the Von Arks. Well, as I was saying, you know, I went through a whole uh, bunch of talent in St. In St. Louis, so I talked Fritz into bringing David up there and put myself in a handicap match against him and Fritz on St. Louis television. And David beat me himself on St. Louis television, which established the Von Erich family all over again in St. Louis. And I had several sellouts with him, and then a little bit later on, Kerry. Uh, Kevin never came up there all that much, and, and Kevin is probably the one boy in the family that didn't really care that much about wrestling. Right, he just got into it because of his dad. Yeah. Um, out of all the Von Erichs, who do you feel was the best worker? Everyone told us David, basically David. David. Yeah. Without a doubt, David. That's what everybody says. He looks, he looked just like a young Fritz. And because of that, and the others looked like uh, little chiseled Greek gods, Fritz pushed them as hard as he could possibly push them and tried to hold David back, but David still looks held better than any of them. All right. What do you think led to the tragedy? Just the father? A lot of people blame Fritz. A lot of the problems. I don't know. You can't blame. Right. Uh, I think along toward the end, even the wife bring blame Fritz. But you know, if there's some part of you that's a man, at some point in time, you're gonna say, "I don't give a damn what you say. I'm gonna do what I want to do." Right. But if you're a sponge and uh, and huh. you have no backbone, I guess a little, it could really get to you. You know. I've never been in that position. I not only worked Florida, I booked Florida for about eight months. I booked at Atlanta when it was Georgia Championship Wrestling. Uh, then I booked uh, the Midwest and I was uh, assistant to Old Man Funk and booking uh, Texas when Dory won the title the first time. Who were some of the guys down there in uh, Florida when you were down there that you booked? Well, there's Bearcat Wright, Stomper, Dusty, uh, Mike Graham himself, uh, Dick Slater, Rocky Johnson, who's the Rock's father. Right. And a lot of people come in and out of Florida. And also Georgia territory, what was that like as far as the talent that was down there at the time? Who were some of the guys? Georgia. Uh, was Oli there at the time? Yes. You? Okay. And Oli and Gene both were there. Right. The Garvins were there. Uh, wrestling 2, Wrestling 1. Buddy Colt. Bob Orton Jr. Uh, I think even Dick Slater was rounded into. TitleMatchNetwork.com